Have you ever dreamt of traveling faster than the speed of light? Well, today's video is about to take you on an exhilarating journey into the realm of warp drive technology, a concept that could revolutionize space exploration. Hold on tight as we dive into the cutting edge developments that might just turn science fiction into reality. But before we jump into warp bubbles and Casimir cavities, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future updates on mind-bending scientific achievements. Imagine a world where the once fantastical notion of war propulsion being confined to the realms of pure science fiction is now a reality. Picture this, spaceships hurtling through the cosmos at speeds unimaginable, surpassing the limitations of light itself. Scientists have unveiled a groundbreaking method that allows for travel at speeds tenfold that of light, ushering in a future of incredible possibilities. Gone are the days when the iconic Concorde, achieving supersonic speeds and connecting Paris to New York in a mere 3.5 hours, marked the pinnacle of aircraft advancement. Today, only fighter jets maintain such velocities, as humanity has transcended into a new era of space exploration. The necessity for spacecraft exceeding the speed of light has become paramount as the vast cosmic distances render conventional travel impractical, requiring millennia to reach neighboring star systems. For a considerable period, the laws of physics seem to forbid anything made of matter, including humans, from approaching or matching the speed of light. Einstein's theories of relativity posited that nothing in space could outpace light, as matter struggled to even approach such speeds due to the defiance of dynamics and energy requirements. Yet, the enigma was unraveled through tireless scientific endeavors. A groundbreaking prospect emerged. The ability to manipulate time and space, giving birth to the prospect of spacecraft surpassing the speed of light. Enthusiasts of science fiction and space movies are already familiar with the concept of warp drive. In this real-life scenario, a spaceship accelerates briefly, vanishing into a radiant light before materializing at any chosen point in the cosmos. Astonishingly, vast distances can be traversed in a fraction of the time, transforming the dreams of reaching the farthest corners of the universe into a tangible reality. While initially popularized as entertainment by visionaries like John W. Campbell and the iconic creator of Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, the concept of warp drive has now transcended fiction and found a foothold in scientific exploration. In the 1990s, scientists began exploring ways to circumvent Einstein's theories. They cleverly manipulated the principles of special relativity, which dictate the interchangeability of energy and mass. According to Einstein, material objects with a non-zero rest mass cannot attain the speed of light requiring an infinite amount of kinetic energy. Yet, through innovative thinking and determination, the prospect of achieving faster-than-light travel has become a tantalizing possibility, poised to reshape the future of space exploration. The dilemma at hand finds resolution through the manipulation of space, achieved either by folding or warping it around the object. Warp, in this context, entails distorting or bending space instead of relying on traditional thrust generated by energy. The force is directed towards distorting the space, creating a fold through which a spacecraft effortlessly slips with minimal exertion. Notably, this concept doesn't disrupt Einstein's theories, which serve as the bedrock of cosmology and physics. However, two challenges persist. The need to generate the energy required for folding space and ensuring the technical feasibility of the process. In 1994, Mexican physicist Miguel Alubari made significant strides in addressing these issues, at least at a theoretical level. Drawing on Einstein's general relativity theory during his doctoral studies at the University of Wales, Alubari crafted a framework within the confines of the laws of physics that theoretically allows for faster-than-light travel. On the practical side, relativity dictates that as objects accelerate, they become increasingly heavier. 
posing challenges in maintaining or enhancing acceleration. This limitation is circumvented by the fact that only particles with virtually no mass, such as photons, can achieve enormous speeds. Alubari developed a propulsion system, aptly named after himself, based on the simple and understandable principle of purely local expansion of space-time. The spacecraft employs a unique method involving a contraction in front of it and a continuum behind it enabling motion perceived as faster than light by external observers. However, within the distorted region, occupants experience little to no perception of the rapid motion. Perhaps they observe the famous tail of light, witnessing stars whizzing by or feeling a slight vibration. In a matter of moments, a warp spaceship can traverse immense distances, seemingly in flight, achieving faster than light travel. The Alubari drive achieves this by expending an immense amount of energy to contract and twist the space-time continuum, creating a bubble that folds space. This bubble serves as a physical inertial system, ensuring occupants feel no actual acceleration while adhering to the rules of physics both inside and outside of the bubble. Matter can move faster than light through space, not through conventional thrust and speed, but via a clever manipulation of the space-time continuum. Contrary to the common misconception of the universe as a single space, according to relativity, space-time is a flat sheet distorted by any object with mass. The familiar effect of gravity arises from this distortion, and every object, including you sitting in front of your computer or smartphone, contributes to this gravitational influence. This leads to the intriguing question of whether a human could consciously traverse a time fold by contracting space ahead of them and emerging somewhere else in space. Now, theoretically, this is possible, but practical implementation requires a considerable force to distort space significantly. And that's a challenge not easily met with current propulsion methods. Enter the Alubari Drives obstacle the need for energy equivalent to the mass of Jupiter. While traditional propellants like diesel, gasoline, hydrogen, or methane fall short, a potential solution has emerged, and that is negative matter. This exotic substance with a suspected negative mass or energy density could be the key. However, its existence remains unproven and challenging to comprehend. Constructing a drive with an unverified substance poses a significant hurdle. Undeterred, researchers continue their pursuit of warp drive innovation, recognizing its necessity for the future. As we delve into the latest ingenious idea for a practically feasible warp drive, it's crucial to acknowledge our current technical standing. Our fastest spaceships, limited by the universal speed of light at approximately 300,000 kilometers per second, pale in comparison to the fictional Enterprise, capable of achieving warp speeds 9,000 times faster than light. Currently, our fastest spacecraft are our space probes, which, despite being small and light, require immense thrust to reach destinations like Jupiter, Saturn, or Venus. The Juno probe, which orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003, achieved a top speed of 74 kilometers per second, a mere 0.02 times the speed of light. Voyager 1, the fastest human-built spacecraft, took nearly 35 years to exit the solar system and is now over 21 billion kilometers from Earth. The Parker Solar Probe, reaching speeds of up to 191 kilometers per second near the Sun, holds the record. These figures underscore our limited progress in cosmic exploration with current technologies. Even small distances pose significant challenges on cosmic scales. Probes sent into space often rely on sophisticated acceleration maneuvers, utilizing the gravitational fields of planets for progress with reasonable energy expenditure. Some probes orbit the Earth and Venus, while others use Jupiter as an acceleration helper slowly approaching their destinations over several years. Consider the scenario where a friend from the Proxima Centauri system invites you over for coffee. To exit the solar system, you would need to navigate numerous orbits around planets, making timely arrival practically impossible with our existing technologies. 
Currently, planning more than 100,000 years for a visit to a cosmic neighbor is the reality. To become a more space-conquering species, we need new, feasible technologies. Advances in warp technologies offer hope here. Dr. Eric Lent of the University of Gingan recently introduced a groundbreaking approach to warp drive that overcomes traditional challenges like using negative matter and massive energy. Dr. Lent's study details how acceleration to the speed of light could be achieved using existing physical properties. The key lies in harnessing so-called solons, colloquially known as warp bubbles. These developments open new avenues for realistic and achievable warp drive technology. This approach to warp drive utilizes already known positive energy densities, eliminating the need for exotic negative energy. However, further research is required to assess its technical practicality. As researchers in Dresden contemplated these possibilities, a groundbreaking announcement emerged from Dr. Harold Sonny White, a former NASA specialist. Dr. White, while initially investigating the feasibility of a warp drive at NASA, stumbled upon something unexpected, the Casimir cavity. The Casimir cavity is formed between two closely placed metal plates, harboring minuscule structures that function as natural warp bubbles. Although Dr. White was originally focused on something different, the Casimir cavity presented an unforeseen opportunity for warp drive development. Currently, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, that's DARPA, is funding ongoing research in this promising area. The goal is to replicate these small structures on a large scale, unlocking the potential for practical and scalable warp drive technology. And there you have it, folks, the tantalizing potential of warp drive technology. From mimicking tiny structures to creating warp bubbles on a grand scale, the future of space travel is truly mind-blowing. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the possibilities of warp drive, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. As we eagerly await further breakthroughs, remember to stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the cosmos. Until next time, safe travels through the stars.